Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain uh, another method of uh, demodulation of uh, double sideband suppressed carrier signal by using what is called as a costas receiver. Now, in the coherent demodulation process, this is also a coherent demodulation process, first of all. But in the simple coherent demodulator, where we use some one product modulator and low pass filter with a locally generated carrier, what happens is if the phase difference between the local carrier and the transmitter carrier is 90 degree, we get something called as quadrature null effect. Now, to overcome this problem, some modification, some kind of feedback is actually used uh, in this method called as echo stars receiver. Now, without wasting much time, let us go to the block diagram of this. Now, just look at this block diagram. This is a hostas receiver, but basically it is a co coherent detection only. That means we have to generate a local carrier, which is this carrier, cos trooper FCT plus phi, which is given by a VCO, a voltage controlled oscillator. Okay. But here, what is the difference is between this and simple coherent demodulator is we are actually having two coherent demodulators. The one is the top one, the other one is the bottom one. Okay, so this is the one coherent demodulator. This is another coherent detector. So for which both the no for which the local carrier is actually applied. The one is applied directly over here, like cos two pi FCT plus pi. For the second case, we are applying through a minus ninety degree phase shifter. That means here the carrier signal applied is sine two pi FCT. That is sine. I'll let me write the equation here. Sine of uh, two pi FCT plus phi because cos and sine signal are 90 degree out of phase or quadrature in phase. It is 2 sine 2 pi FCT plus this phase difference between the local carrier and the transmitter carrier. So these two signals are applied to the product modulator. And here I am using this VCO and the phase discriminator for uh, handling that phase variation or to compensate the phase variation for which the outputs are uh, the input for this phase discriminator are the outputs of two uh, coherent demodulators. One is this signal, the other one is this signal. Okay. Now, since we are applying the uh, carrier signal which are in phase, phase quadrature, I call this channel, this channel as I channel, the in phase channel, and this channel as the Q channel or quadrature channel. Now, how exactly we produce the um, message signal here? So, the output of the top I channel gives you the original message signal. Here, we get the equation as AC by 2 cos phi m of t. In the bottom channel, that is Q channel, we get AC by 2 sin phi m of t. So, how to get those equations, I will explain with the derivation now. Now, just look at this. So, we have a message signal, sorry, the uh, uh, modulated signal, that is S of t, which is given by AC cos 2 pi f c t plus phi. Uh, so, this signal is common for both the product modulators. Now for the top, uh, you know, the modulator, the carrier signal given is cos 2 pi FCT plus phi. The output of the product modulator is given by S of t into C1 of t. Just substitute this S of t and C1 of t. I will get this particular equation, right? So, this equation I will get where this is S of t and this one is uh, you know, uh, C1 of t cos 2 pi FCT plus phi. Now, apply a cos A cos B rule, I will get this component and this component that is cos half of cos of a plus b cos of uh, plus cos of a minus b. So when you apply that particular rule, I'll get first term as this, which is the actual signal, and this is the other signal. So when these components are a v1 of t is given to the low pass filter, only first term is allowed, and we get v01 that is ac by 2 cos of phi m of t, where this part is the amplitude part, and this is the message signal which is recovered after passing through the low pass filter. This is the high frequency component which has the frequency equal to 2FC. So, this 2FC or you can say the M of T is shifted by 2FC, we will not be allowed by the uh, low pass filter. So, we get this particular component, a scaled version of the message signal. That's what I will get in the I channel. Now, going to the bottom part, that is this part here now, okay, how exactly we get AC by 2 sin phi M of T, that I will explain now. Let's just look at this. Now, uh, the 90 degree phase shifter output is given by sine 2 pi FCT plus phi. That's what I told earlier, right? Uh, the output of the product modulator is given by V2 of two, V2 of T is given by S of T, the same uh, uh, you know, DSP SC signal multiplied by the C2 of T. Okay. Now, again, substituting both uh, S of T and C2 of T, I'll get like this. Uh, 
cos A and sin B rule I will apply. So I will get this particular term, the first term which is given by uh, half of sin of A plus B and sin of A minus B, right? This is the second part which is a high frequency component. This is the low frequency component. When I pass this V2 of T through a low pass filter, I will get this only the low frequency component which is the message signal, okay? The difference between the uh, I channel and Q channel is they are having the 90 degree phase difference here. That's it. That's why they are called I channel and quadrature channel. Now, so how exactly, now I'll go back to the block diagram, how exactly uh, the phase variation is compensated, okay? Now just consider the ideal case. In the ideal case, the phi is equal to zero, right? That is the phase difference between original carrier and the locally generated carrier, which is given by the voltage controlled oscillator will be zero, okay? So in that case, the bottom channel output will be zero because sine of zero is zero. So everything will be zero. So in the ideal case, Q channel will be producing a zero output and cos of zero is one. So we, it will produce the highest amplitude over here. This is the ideal condition. So for this particular ideal condition, okay, when both are given to the phase discriminator, it will say phase discriminator is nothing but it actually discriminates or it uh, compares the phase of the two inputs the I channel output and the Q channel output and based on the phase variation, it will produce certain voltage over here, okay. The function of the VCO is depending on the input voltage, it will produce a oscillation. Oscillation means it produces the signal, carrier signal with a certain frequency and the phase which depends on the input voltage and this input voltage depends on the phase variation between or phase and frequency variation between the two inputs of the phase discriminator. Now, ideal case, it will produce certain amplitude. Okay, let us say some nano amplitude, say uh, some 5 volt, let us say. Okay, and based on that, it will produce cos 2 pi FCT, a carrier, without any phase variation, that is 0 degree, let us say. Okay, now, let us consider that there is a small phase variation of say some 10 degree, maybe 20 degree or whatever. So, during that time, what happens is, sin of 10 and sin of, uh, sin of 10, and uh, just, just give me a second, I'll go back to the block diagram, yeah. So, sine of uh, say 10 or sine of 20 or whatever. So, we will have certain value of sine of something, right? Sine of angle, correct? That means this will not be 0 degree now. During that time, what happens is this will produce a certain amplitude and this also produces a certain amplitude. Cos of small angle is nearly equal to 1, right? So, we can say some certain maximum amplitude will produce, but both channels will produce certain amplitude and based on that, that means the, based on the phase difference, the phase discriminator will produce some other voltage, maybe plus, uh, 6 volt, maybe 4 volt or whatever. Based on that, VCO will change its uh, frequency and phase, okay. And this process, this feedback, this is a feedback, this is the kind of, kind of a feedback. This process will continue until the Q channel output becomes 0, okay. Once the Q channel output becomes a 0, it will set to a particular frequency and the phase variation. That means now both are synchronized. Okay. Now, based on the phase, you know, leading or a lagging between the transmitter carrier and the receiver carrier, the, the receiver carrier, this local carrier phase may lead by certain uh, degree or lag by certain degree when compared to the transmitter carrier. Based on that, okay, what happens is the angle will be either plus or minus something. So, the, for a positive uh, you know, phase variation or a negative phase variation, the voltage produced will be different and based on that and based on the feedback here, it will adjust the frequency and the phase of the voltage controlled oscillator and hence you can say that the variation, the phase variation is controlled. So the same concepts and you know, same thing I have explained over here by using these lines, okay. The polarity, okay, the polarity will be different for different direction, the polarity will be same for same direction, okay. So this is about... Uh, uh, you know, the COSTAS receiver which is used to demodulate the DSB SSC signal as well as to control any phase variation. Oh, thank you for watching this video.